Hey, what's up, YouTube? Digital Soul here. Psh, um, I'm gonna give you this one in color, alright? Uh, you know, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. There's a lot of people that I feel that are worth watching. Um, but lately, I've been seeing a lot of people saying, Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay? Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. If you want to ask people for things, that's cool. Um, if you put your logo on a t-shirt and you want to charge somebody 30 bucks to buy one, that's your thing. If you take your face and put it on a mug and you expect someone to buy it, that's your thing. YouTube, everybody says it's a free community and oh, if they were going to charge us to pull our videos up here and stuff, that everybody would have a problem with it, but some people actually expect someone to buy something with their name, profile name, screen name, login, YouTube, identity name, or something that is recognized along with their videos on a shirt, a hat, something and, and, and they want you to buy it man how do you feel about this how do you feel about people trying to I mean what, what are we movie stars or something you know what I mean do we feel that we're that popular that we're going to take advantage of people who enjoy watching us on a day to day basis and try to charge them money for something so they can have something from us man you know, it's like when I was at the gathering, I, I signed like 20 autographs. No autograph will be the same as the other because I've never signed my name to something before. I saw a video where someone had a t-shirt where a bunch of people signed it, man. And they were signing their YouTube screen names. And it looked pretty good, unless maybe my chicken scratch is just that bad. But I could never, I would, like the first one I said that was like F and they were like, no, 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 digital soul, we gotta have the digital soul. So I signed it, you know, the best that I could, because I've never signed it before. You know, I've never signed my own name on anything before, you know. But getting back to what I was talking about, how do you guys feel about people in the YouTube community trying to sell you a little something with their name or likeness on it? Is that right? I mean, of course everybody would like to do this for a job. Of course everybody would like to make YouTube their day-to-day -day means of making money. Because to some people, it's rather easy to throw up a two or five minute video. You know, but to some people they do it because they just want to help out others. You know? But, uh, I just wanted to throw it out there. I wasn't even going to make a video tonight, but as I was creeping through the site, you know, I, I, I saw this more than once. So, uh, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it, man? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Should I go out and say, hey, here's my name, Digital Soul, on a t-shirt, man. Do you want to buy that? No, why would you? Go out and write it on a t-shirt yourself and bam, there you have it. You know? Why pay for something like that? That's just crazy. Just like I was talking to somebody and they said, you know what, you should probably try to secure digitalsoul.com. Even though I spell it wrong, you should try to go out and secure digitalsoul.com. So, you know, I go on there, I look. Digitalsoul.com's already snagged up. And they're holding on to the website name. And they won't even discuss giving it up for less than $90. That's crazy. Why? Why would somebody want to buy digitalsoul.com? Why would I need to make a separate website with information about me when I post it all here on my profile, when I'm easy to get to through my emails? I, ju I just don't understand it all. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm not the businessman that I should be with my YouTube liberty, is that what they're calling it now? Because I'm just a guy, man. 
is the guy in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There ain't nothing special about me, trust me. Just like you guys, I've said that so many times in so many videos that we're all the same. We're just posting videos. A lot of people just happen to watch me. I don't know why. But uh, I guess that's why I'm going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to talk about it real quick, you know? And no, I'm not uh, being paid by Abercrombie to wear this shirt. It's just a little chilly and I wanted to wear it, okay? And I will be getting my ghost hunting series kickstarted here real soon, you know? I want to do it a little different than what you've seen on TV. A lot of shows, they want to debunk everything. I think that it should be less about me. You don't want to see me on camera saying, hey, I think there's a ghost back here. Ghost back here. You know, you don't want to see that, man. What you want to see is you want to see people out in the mix, camera, on everything that's over here, without anybody messing it up or getting in the way. And let's see something creepy. Let's keep the people on the edge of their seats because that's what a lot of these shows are missing, man. And that's what I'm going to try to bring to it. But that's not even what this vlog was supposed to even be about. And I didn't want to touch on it, but I just wanted to touch on people trying to make some money off of YouTube. I guess it's cool. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's not me. I'm not trying to sell a t-shirt to somebody for 30 bucks with my name on it. This digital soul. Discuss it if you like. But until next time, see you when I see you. Peace.